Welcome back, everybody. So you're stuck at home. You're looking at all of those areas in your home that you want to clean, dust, declutter. And maybe one of those areas is your closet. But if you're like me, it's still a disaster. We need some professional help, which is why we have called in the big guns. Yep, the one and only stylist extraordinaire, <laughs> Erica Wark, is joining us. A, first, so good to see you. And how are you doing? I am doing very well. Thank you. It is so great to see you guys. So good to see you too. So let's get to it, Erica. Why is it a good time right now to get into our closets, disorganized or not, and organize them? Well, the changing of seasons is always a great time. So now as we move into spring, we're probably looking at clothing that we haven't seen for quite some time. So it's a really great way to look at your wardrobe with a new and fresh perspective. Uh, and obviously many of us are spending more time at home. So it's a great time to tackle those projects that have maybe been on the back burner. But probably the most important to me is in a time where things feel so out of control, this is something that you can control. And I can tell you from personal experience that it feels oh so good to complete a project <laughs> like this. Okay, so let's dive in head first. We're gonna start with our top. So I wanna know, are you organizing by color? by category or maybe both? The answer is both. So you want to organize by different sections or categories. So you wanna put your jackets together, your blazers together, your long sleeves together, your blouses together and so forth. And then you're gonna to wanna to uh, do them by color coordinating. So here, if I just demo it quickly, I'm gonna put my sleeveless first, lightest to darkest, and then I'm gonna do my blouses, lightest to darkest. And then I'm gonna start with, again, working with my darkest ones, my blacks here, those are all gonna go together. And then I'll finish with my sweaters, move into my blazers and finish with my jackets. And what about hangers when it comes to all of our clothing, Erica? Do you have a preference? 100%, I have to tell you, uh, I am all about the velvet hanger. They come in a bunch of different mm -hmm. colors, but I love them so much because they're incredibly thin. So by swapping out to these kinds of hangers, you're literally doubling the space in your closet. I also love it because the velvet hangs on to every fiber in your clothing. So it's gonna hold all of those pieces in place, which is so important. Now, if you're looking at more structured pieces, so that's things like jackets, and blazers, you're gonna want something that has a little bit more substance. So I really like the classic um, plastic hangers because again, they're still nice and thin, but they're gonna be able to hold on to and keep the structure of all of those fabrics. All right, so let's talk about bottoms quickly um, because we've got bottoms. Who the heck knows how we're supposed to be hanging those, folding those, what's your word? So I love to fold all of my uh, sweatsuits and my pajamas because those tend to be quite bulky. And of course, they don't need to be hanging in my closet. I also love to fold all of my active wear, so leggings and so forth. But everything else I like to hang, uh, starting with my more casual wear. So that's, you know, your leather pants, uh, your leather leggings and your denim. I actually like to use those same plastic hangers I was talking about earlier and uh, hang my pants on them. I also like to double up because as I was saying before, I mean, I live in a condo, I live in a thousand square feet. So every inch of my closet counts. So why not double up? And a really great way to organize that is by doing like pieces together. So in this case, I have two medium wash denims together. You'll also notice that I have them inside out and that is on purpose. That's actually to protect them from getting dusty. And also the wash of your denim will just hold on a lot longer when it's inside out protected in your closet. What about folding? Do we fold or not fold? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> I mean, everyone's uh, closet is of course different, but generally speaking, you're going to want to fold those really delicate, lightweight knits, as well as those heavier knits to avoid that awkward pokey look from the hanger. What if you're like me and you have no drawer space, Erica, to fold those knits? Can you hang some of them maybe? <laughs> so I'm like you, Marcy, I'm in the same boat. I don't have a lot of folding space. So by a lot of trial and error, I have figured out the solution and I'm gonna show you right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that delicate knit, in this case, this sweater is 100% cashmere. You're gonna use it on your velvet hanger. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take each sleeve, you're gonna lift it. So I'm actually also lifting the body of the sweater and then you're gonna fold it over top. You're gonna to do it on both sides. 
And what that does is it evens out the weight distribution of the sweater across the hanger, giving those shoulders room to breathe. Smaller items now, we're gonna talk bags, belts, uh, like leggings, uh, you know, legging type of things, bikinis. How are we storing <laughs> are the smaller items? Bikinis is actually the only thing I'm really listening for here, but I want to hear it all actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so great question, Mel. And I'm sure like so many other people out there, my closet has, you know, a couple of um, hanging places and then it's got all this extra space both on the top and the bottom. And you want to utilize every single space you can. So what I recommend is using clear Tupperware bins like these ones here. Uh, and if you want to be super extra, you can even label them with a label maker. Yes, I did that. Love it. Love <laughs> so it. <here> I've got, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I've got my tight uh, bin here. Underneath, I've got a bin that's full of like my active wear socks, things like for hiking, um, like thick knit socks in the winter season for skiing and so far, things that I don't go to that often. And then this bottom one here is for all of my belts. And what I will do is I'll actually take these items and I'll place them at the very top of my closet to utilize that space. Uh, and like you, Mel, I'm a huge bathing suit fan. So because I have so many, I had to use a really big box. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And so I know, it's ridiculous. Wow. So this actually sits on the bottom of my closet, like literally on the ground. But again, it's so easy to access it when I need it. But of course, I'm not going to my bathing suits every day. So things that you don't use every day should be put in those I mean, more speak for yourself. places in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> then there, you're then right, there you're are right. those things. There are those things that you don't use every day or for a lot of days. And you know what? I've gotten better at getting rid or donating things that I've not worn, but there's always room for improvement when it comes to that. So is there a rule of thumb, Erica, a certain maybe amount of time that if you haven't worn something, it's time for it to go? Great question, Marcy. And that's probably one of the toughest things when it comes to reorganizing, reorganizing your closet, especially if you're doing it alone, is being honest with yourself and the pieces that are in there. So what I like to do before I even get into organizing is I'll actually take everything out in sections, put it on my bed, and go through every single item so that I'm being honest with myself. From there, I will do three separate piles. I will do a, a donation pile, I will do a toss pile, uh, and then I will do a consignment pile. And donation can be to obviously local charities, but it could also be to friends and family. Toss are those items that maybe you have a small rip in something but you thought oh i'll still wear it and now it's been like five years and you're still not wearing it because every time you put it on you're like oh there's a rip i can't wear this it's probably time to get rid of it and then of course consignment is fantastic i've been doing it for well over a decade because not only are you creating a more sustainable future by putting less in the landfill? You're also putting money in that pocket. I love this. So good. Erica, this is so perfect, mm -hmm. so timely. Um, and you speak with such authority and experience. So I'm going to run upstairs right after I say goodbye to you and throw all my bikinis in a tub. <laughs> And then, you know, just maybe throw one on for kicks. I don't know. I don't know. What else do I have great to do? Great idea. Um, Erica, <laughs> thank you. This has been amazing. Um, and it's great to see you, of course. And we want to let everybody know who's watching. You're like, oh my gosh, where do we revisit all of these tips? Don't worry. We've got you covered. We're going to all put it up on the socials website right after today's show. Erica, thank you. And we'll be right back. Right Thank after you this. so much.